Hi, so welcome to another video. So this is a multi-step organic synthesis reaction. Now we want to propose a synthesis for making procaine from our four nitro benzoic acid starting reagent in three steps. Okay, so we've got three steps to go from this into this one here. Now the way that you would look at this is you would use the disconnection approach. So you would work backwards to see how to get there. So we know we've got three steps to get there. So let's draw in our arrows and we'll work this way here. So the last thing that you would do, so we've got an, what's different between these two? So we've got an NO2 and H2. So that's changed. And we're going from a carboxylic acid into an ester that has a nitrogen group attached. So we can see that there are three changes um, that have happened between the starting reagent and our product. So working backwards, which would be the order that you would do this? So the NH2 would be the last thing that you do, okay? because it would be a reduction reaction. So it would reduce anything that's happening in the, in the um, scheme. So save that to last. Um, in terms of adding in this nitrogen group, you would need a really good leaving group on the end of this ester, such as a halogen. Um, so the first step would be to make that ester. So working backwards, you do this reaction last, this reaction, and then this reaction would be your first one. So if we follow that forward, the first one we would do would be to form the ester. Now we need a good leaving group, still at NO2. Um, so we need one, two, one, two, and then a good leaving group such as chlorine. So our reagent that we're going to be adding in there would be OH12Cl. Okay, so that would be under acidic conditions so that we get that reaction to proceed. Um, so sulfuric acid is a good one. And then we've got our group that we're attaching. So that's literally just that there with a hydrogen attached to it. So the next one is what are we adding in? So we're adding in our nitrogen with the two groups coming off it. And this would be, it needs another hydrogen there. And this would also um, require no additional reagents for that one. That one would go just with the nitrogen. Okay, because that's such a good leaving group that we put in in the step before. And then we would get our nitrogen like that. And we would still have that NO2. So the last step there would be the hydrogenation conditions. Now, um, sodium borohydride uh, would probably be a good one there. So we don't reduce down anything else. So that will selectively target that uh, carbonyls that are on the nitrogen and reduce those down to your NH2s. Okay, so that's a multi-step one. It's got a lot in that one, but in three steps we can go from our carboxylic acid into our desired uh, functional groups that we need for that product. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.